Ryan's Tools 2.2. This is going to be just a quick little update. Uh, there's a lot of changes under the hood, a lot of bug fixes, a lot of optimizations. Things just run a lot smoother now, uh, but it's kind of under the hood. It's kind of boring. It's kind of technical. I'm not really going to show you that, but I will quickly show you two things. Uh, one of the bug fixes I changed is something that a few people wrote in about. It was bothering them. It was this bug with Dyn brush size just coming on automatically when doing a lot of other things. Uh, so I fixed that. No longer happens unless you actually press Dyn brush size. And so there's just really one addition in this version upgrade. Uh, so what I did is I added a dynamic thickness slider. Now you might be asking, well, ZBrush already has dynamic thickness. And you'd be right. Uh, however, there's one hiccup with it and it just drives me crazy. It's just so simple, but the, it's just the way it works is if you give it dynamic thickness, uh, it works, but actually let me switch to the actual object I'm on. Uh, so this thing back here, you know, we want to give it some thickness by default right now. It doesn't have any thickness. So we crank this slider and it's cool and all. Uh, however, one thing about it is that uh, the thickness it gets is actually double this number. So whatever number you put in, say it's like 0 0.04, it's actually thickening to 0 0.08. Uh, I do a lot of stuff with 3D printing, so I want to have a specific exact thickness. And so this is no good. So what I did is I made my own dynamic thickness slider, and it's just this over here. So now whatever number you put in here is actually the thickness that you're going to get as a result. So it's just that straightforward, just that simple, uh, just a slider that gives you the number you asked for. So that's everything for Ryan's Tools 2.2. Go ahead and get that upgrade now. It's available, link in the description. And uh, please pay for the pro version if you are making money with ZBrush and Ryan's Tools. If you're a student or hobbyist, uh, it's $5 for the full version or free for an older version. All right, thanks for watching and have a great one, everybody.